Load the Modo scene that you want to use with the HDR Lite Studio and it's best to use the render layout in Modo when using HDR Lite Studio. It's important to set up the camera view that you want to light before starting HDR Lite Studio. So if we make sure that the camera we want to light is set as the render camera and then if we make sure the view the 3D view is showing the render camera as well. Make sure you click in the 3D view to make it active before starting HDR Lite Studio. OK, let's go to the environment, select the environment and then in the properties panel we can see the HDR Lite Studio connection controls are displayed here. The first thing we need to do is select the renderer that we want to use with HDR Lite Studio. And in this example, we're going to select V-Ray. So let's press the start button. HDR Lite Studio will now start in a connection with Modo. Your interface will look something like this. There's a new render view showing uh, that's uh, come in the Tungsten 2 release of HDR Lite Studio and this view is not actually compatible with V-Ray at the moment. So the best layout for HDR Lite Studio to use is to go to Load, Default, Standalone. And at this point we're going to put HDR Lite Studio onto one of your displays and then have Modo on the other because it's best to use two displays when using HDR Lite Studio with V-Ray. OK, so now we've got our Modo on display 1 and HDR Lite Studio on display 2. The first thing we're going to do is press the play button in the HDR Lite Studio's render view HDR Lite Studio. Let's press the import button and Modo will export a temporary Alembic file into HDR Lite Studio and then this render view is now uh, rendering the scene using the HDRI design here. Let's create our first light. So in the presets panel, let's find a light and we will drag and drop it onto the view. Let's just increase the brightness of that light so we can easily see it. Now you can see that the light has been added to the HDRI map in a position that reflects where the light was dropped. And this is because the light paint mode by default is set to reflection. If we want to move this light, we can click and drag in this view to reposition it. If we want to see the effect of this lighting uh, in Modo, we can start a V-Ray interactive render. So let's go here and start RTCPU. So the V-Ray frame buffer starts and interactive rendering has started. So if I now move a light in HDR Light Studio, it's updated instantly in Modo and can be seen in that render view. So far, all of the lighting is coming from a HDRI map. With a light selected, at any point we can turn this light on the HDRI map into a 3D light inside of Modo. If I enable this checkbox for area light, the light will be removed from the HDRI map that is lighting the shot in both Light Studio and inside Modo. And it's now a 3D light uh, where we can use the smart dolly to control the distance This light is controlled like any other light in HDR Light Studio, so you can click to reposition it on the model using the light paint mode. If we look at the Modo interface, we can obviously see the light is being used by V-Ray. And we can see the light in the viewport here. We can see in the shading uh, panel that we've created the emitter material for this light and if we go to the items panel you can see there's a folder that contains any area lights made by HDR Light Studio. 
So if I was to uh, duplicate this light and put it over here and duplicate again over here, place it there, you can see that these lights are all made through the connection in real time and all of the shaders are created with the mapped HDR content uh, applied to those area lights coming from HDR Light Studio. And then if I was to untick the checkbox for area light, those lights are returned to the HDRI map. And you can see those lights have been removed now from Modo and their shaders removed as well. So everything you do in Light Studio is kept in sync inside of Modo through our connection as you are lighting. OK, let's just delete all the lighting and open up one of the preset rigs quickly. OK, so let's say that we're totally happy with this lighting. Let's press the HDR button and render the final HDRI map and area light textures on disk. So let's set the resolution of the HDRI map. If the project included area lights, we would set their resolution here. Use the browse button. We'll give the uh, HDRI map a name, lighting one, and we'll press the render button. And HDR Light Studio will now calculate the high quality final HDRI map on disk. And the connection will tell Modo to update to using that final image on disk. So inside of Modo, we can now stop HDR Light Studio. If we were to look at the environment, we can see it is using the lighting file on disk that was just rendered. So if we save our Modo project at this point, the HDR Light Studio lighting design has been embedded in this scene. This means if we select the environment, and we start HDR Light Studio again. The project, the embedded project, is loaded into HDR Light Studio automatically, and you can carry on working on the lighting design where you left off. So we can make some further changes, for example, change the color of some of these lights. And then if we like those changes, we simply press the HDR button again, and I'll give this HDRI map a different name, Lighting 2. I'll press Render. We'll calculate the final lighting design, and again we will update Modo to use that new file on disk when the render is complete. OK, so Modo is now using this new lighting image. And selecting the environments, we can stop HDR Light Studio. That will now close. And we have a Modo scene that is totally lit. And we are ready to produce the final render using V-Ray. So that concludes the demonstration of the workflow for using HDR Light Studio with Modo and V-Ray.